Hey guys, welcome to Dog of Dracula 2, Cyber Monogatari. I hope this is as good as the original. Team Box. Dog of Dracula 2, Cyber Monogatari. The story is dedicated to all those otakus who fight against injustice in corporations every day of their lives. Amen. <laughs> Years ago, we defeated the Natrizer and ban on condiments that just devastated the world, but life only got worse. Cyber co cognition is compulsory. The cyber, the cyber bon, an endless sprawl of computer techno trash is controlled over most of humanity. Some opted to plug in. Most had no choice. Others, like me, have resisted data slavery and slavery, and corporations don't like it. 2000 A.D. Nuevo Tokyo is about to explode. New Tokyo? This is like Japanese Spanish. I've got a complex that's falling apart. Maybe that's why I'm drawn to joints like this. I can relate. Des Desolation is a common sight in this new info age. I guess that's why the news heads call it the pre post apocalypse. Oh, so we're still in the pre post apocalypse. I thought we got rid of that last time. An old sauce den, abandoned after decriminalization, lost somewhere between the urban decay and the di dire straits in dead zone Nuevo Tokyo. The ketchup splatter patterns camouflaging the cracks in the walls like tomato graffiti do little to help me forget the past, and the cloying smell of corn syrup just far too much to remind me of it. Of her. <gasps> A Prissy? Oh my god. Is Prissy still here? Of Prissy, the one true force for good I've ever known in this two-bit world. Where is she? <gasps> but she's gone now, and I have no one but myself to blame. An all too familiar routine. No! Prissy was my favorite. Well, when are we gonna have the hot sex scenes? <gasps> oh, yeah! Oh, I'm still a fucking badass. Whoops, whoops, whoops. What are we doing in this creep joint, dog? Oh! Oh! Oh my god, I like him so much better as a cyborg. Look at that kick-ass hair. This really is the future. You're, you're up. <gasps> We're injecting soy sauce? Ew, dude. <laughs> what would that do to you? Holy shit. <laughs> I've been off the stuff for months, man. It's all you. This is my permanent address. All over sauce here with a vamp dog in my lap and hop far out of s hope. Far out of sight, shooting up kick him in the dark. Hourly high sodium drive buys is the only thing I've go got going for me. Wait, I thought I was done with my addiction to sauce. And wait, since when has sauce been a drug? Ah, <sighs> oh, that's the stuff. <gasps> what? A little pick me up so I'm better equipped to put myself down. Oh! <laughs> Join all the ghouls I've groomed six feet under the rotten city, festering in a wooden kimono covered by transistors and dirt. I just noticed the... the body pillow. It will still never replace Prissy. A heavy knock on the door rattles the walls and nearly topples over my Figma collection. If first impressions are everything, we're not off to a good start. God, what am I watching? It's like Saturn being blown up by a plug. I know, I know what it's about before the rube, the rube, the rube behind the door can take the modern wire out of their mouth long enough to speak up. I've been blasting dur, dur, dur step for six hours straight, trying to shake off my feeling of existential dread from my skull. What can I say? I put a lot of faith in the classics. Oh, hella hot. <laughs> this ain't a salon, asshole. Turn the tunes down. He's about to learn human contact, and I get along as well as internal monologue and soy sauce. And they don't get along well. I'm so much more confused than in the last game. You know what you're messing with. Uh, I've been playing first person fraggers and flipping manga pages. Oh. <laughs> I'm a homicidal otaku weapon. Don't test me, Baka. <gasps> oh my god, this is so stupid. Another knock, and down goes Hatsune Miku, a perfect marriage of accuracy and posability left crumpled on the floor like pocky crumbs. 
God damn it. <laughs> Crumble on the floor. Pocky come. Alright, partner. You know what time it is. Oh. Damn, I got some hunky neighbors. With a shrill whimper, I pull open the door. A shrill whimper. <sighs> oh. Oh, man. I am a fighter. <laughs> I give the goons board a three-fingered salute. He won't be booting up for a while. I stared dejectedly at the hamstrung remains of my dear Hatsune Miku and recalled something Carl once told me. <gasps> Carl! One man's plastic is another man's sweetheart. Ain't that the truth? A hushed cry escapes my lips and it's not long before some eyewater joins the getaway. <gasps> my knuckles are scraped and dripping crimson. Dripping crimson, he did it again, not even saying blood. Like I tried to get the marble out of a strawberry ramune ramune. It felt good to use my hands again. Oh, I'm so lost. <laughs> and to be honest, I prefer it to the feeling of conditioner. I'm everything a groomer ought not to be, but that's as much news as the corpse mind jacking the poor sap shambling around the cyber streets. The undead grooming business is hardly booming anyway, when all a ghoul's got to do to tickle their pleasure center is hit up the dark side of the cyber band through space proxies. What good's a shave and a haircut? Well, look at his goddamn hair. He has hot, hot green dog hair. It's heck out there, ain't it, Sid? Worse than heck. It's hell. <laughs> Carl kicking off brought something out of the dog. A real drive and sets of purpose. Too bad it hasn't worn off on me. <gasps> Carl's dead? Aw, oh, Carl's really starting to grow on me. The human to vampire dog, your conversion rate's been flipped upside down by the dystopic hellscape of Y2K. You try to punch the last few years into dog's calculator and all you'll get back is the lamentations of the oppressed and a coupon for the latest corp hardware. It's no surprise he's on edge. What's going on? You ever think about Carl? The mansion? Carl's still out there somewhere, haunting the conventions. Only now he's not just cosplaying as a ghost. I'm not worried. But the mansion? No, it made me feel like a fry out of oil. I'm glad to be out of USA Incorporated. Like a fry out of oil. I guess. Maybe things would be different if we were never rescued, Willie. Wait. What about the Count? I wonder if he found a girl yet. Ah, oh, Willie. Soswell would have run out dry a long time ago. Maybe Pris would still be around. <gasps> oh, why don't you sip me goodbye, Sid? Oh, I look so much different. Just don't cut my tongue this time, babe. I remember holding her close and giving her a nervous sip on the tab, like a prudish diabetic might. Oh, how romantic. I'll be home before you know it. Should I put... Should I put you in the fridge while I'm gone? No. I want to stay lukewarm for you. Pris Jan. <laughs> Ew, who likes a lukewarm soda? What happened to you and Prissy? She thought I was drinking from another can. The marriage went flat after that. Oh! Flat! Soda! Oh ho ho! If only I had a chance to make it work. Well, were you? Was I? Was I unfaithful? Imbibing some babe from a sixter behind Prissy's back label. No, I was just catching up with an old bud. At least that's the story I tell myself. But I've got better things to do than open wounds for a hound caught up in the system. Is that me or my friend? It doesn't matter. Hey, take the edge off, dude. No, don't do it again. You can get diabetes or something. Forget it. It ain't gonna help me anymore tonight. I'm just so tired. Maybe it's from all the goddamn salt in your veins. If you ask me, you're, you're better off without her. But I got something that can help you forget. Oh my god, what are we gonna do next, Yoshida sauce? You know I'm no bit junkie. Come on, the cyber pipe's a safe way to unplug without the corporation's pride. All I'm saying... And all I'm saying is fuck your cyber band, no matter how you slice it, dog. You don't understand love. The only thing you've ever embraced is a computer world order. Fuck the cyberspace heartbreaks and the papa policia. Police, policia. Fuck this new millennium. Ah, someone's not embracing the new ways. 
Do you remember what brains are? The corpse call these processors now. They're gonna plug in every last person into we're all just bits in a database. Oh, he has a point about that. You're exaggerating. The band's got a lot to offer. <gasps> Even dogs get in, get in it? Yeah, yeah. Wolf leaks. We fucking get it, dog. You're a dog blog. Cock blog. Whoa, hold up. Wolf leaks has been blowing code in the pipe. What about cor corp corruption for months? What? It's called making a difference, Sid. What are you doing? Get your head in the game. Get your, get your, get your head in the game. Get your, get your, get your, get your head in the game. Grooming can't even compare to what we do. You want a taste of what matters? Let me bring up the latest corporate cable. Yeah, teach me how to make a living out of life. A frog of Frankenstein, Sid. Did you know there's a frog of Frankenstein? You do now, Wolf Leaks. We're talking about a cyber revolution in the making. Beep boop, beep boop, beep beep boop boop. That's all I heard coming out of that tech peddler you called your yapper. <laughs> Face it, dog. This ain't a scene for dogs anymore. You're just a roadkill on the information superhighway, an inconsequential mess on the spinning rubber of court machines. You were the last person I expected to say a thing like that. <gasps> Don't leave, dog. Dog's ears flatten, and he tucks his board wire between his legs. Oh, dog, wait. I didn't mean it like that. I, I love you. No, you did. You think I can't change things because I was born in a basket of canola oil and anime? Are you really so different, Groomer? Wait, was I born in canola oil and anime? Maybe you're right, and we haven't gone far enough. Maybe it's time to expand the dogosphere. Because some goddamn chaos. I'm out of here. For good. <laughs> I'm alone. Pushing them like a shopping cart full of pizza pockets. Only in the scenario go scenario there's no microwave ding at the end to bring on that brief rush of euphoria. Just the deafening silence of an empty room that comes with being a groomer in a computer's world. You hot pockets. I'm losing loved ones as quickly as I'm running out of smiles. Puss, Carl, Dog, Dracula. Well, was Dracula really ever important? Aww. What like Carl? Carl wasn't important. <laughs>